Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen the theoretical workflow of connecting Google Drive APIs with the Spring Boot project. In this video, we are going to begin with the step 1. I have logged into console.developer.google.com and I can now see a dashboard over here. The dashboard indicates that we need to create a project to view the enabled APIs and the services. So let's just begin with the step 1. We'll create our own project. Let's just click this create button again. We need to name our project. So I will name my project as Google Drive Spring Boot Example. It's quite mouthful but let's just begin with that. We don't have to specify the organization over here. So we'll leave that field as is. Click the create button. This will take some time. Let's just wait for a moment. Okay, our project has been created, but it says that there are no APIs or services are enabled. So now we need to enable the APIs within the project. Click enable API and services button. We are specifically going to work on the Google Drive APIs. So we need to search for Drive API. So I'll type Drive. This will bring me some options. Select the first option, Google Drive API. This will give you some introduction about the API, some information like terms of services and the link for the tutorials and documentation. Let's just ignore it for the time being and click this enable button. Now our API is getting enabled within the project. And congratulations, the project has been created and it has been enabled with the Google Drive APIs. This brings an end to our first step. In the next video, we are going to enable the credentials. We are going to decide what approach that we are going to take in order to integrate this Google Drive APIs. So don't go anywhere and watch my third video on enabling the credentials in the Google Drive project. Thank you.